magic in what a bottle. What sorcery is this? What is that? Um. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dark, and I'm here with the lovely Bella. Hello. Welcome to Heat 101. Indeed. Today we have a sauce from Hank's. Hank's sauce. Look at the bottle. I know, isn't that great? It's so cool. Uh, we got this from them in Bowers at Bowers Pepper Festival. We saw them. Yes. Oh, and we got their whole lineup. So we got more to come from these guys. Mm -hmm. This is Hank's sauce, herb infused hot sauce. Ooh. Yeah. Can't wait to get into this stuff. Me too. The label is like a, uh, it almost reminds me of almost like a paper bag, mm -hmm. like a like a shopping bag. Yeah. Uh, like a grocery bag. Yeah. But uh, if I say bag one more time, <laughs> I'm gonna hit myself with the bottle. <laughs> no, I see what you're saying. Like a like the paper bags at the grocery store. Yeah, and but it's really clean. The graphics on it are really clean and nice. Nicely done. I love that. I love square bottles. It's not something that you see very often. Uh, there are a few companies that do square bottles, but this is larger. Mm -hmm. This is eight ounces instead of the standard five ounce hot sauce bottle. Aesthetically, it's very beautiful and um, really nice to look at. It reminds it me is. of like the olive oil bottles. Yeah, oil yeah, 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 definitely. You can find these guys at hanksauce.com and they are on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at hank underscore sauce. Very cool. Let's take a look at the consistency. And there's actually a peel off, so I'll just use that. Oh, cool. There's perforation. Look at how much you get. Like, I'm so excited. Did you see that, that uh, the shrink wrap on that? Uh huh. They have their custom shrink wrap, which you don't that's see cool. that often. It's got their their logo on there, so that's pretty cool. That They're going cool. the extra mile for presentation. I love that, and honestly, I really love the label. All right, why don't you read that side of the bottle there? Okay. See what it says. So first of all, this is awesome. It says, try it on this. Uh, cow, chicken, pig, uh, fish. There's a T-Rex You could have said beef, but you had to say cow. Oh, beef. <laughs> try it on beef, chicken. Just right on top of the cow. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> for the clarification and it actually has picture on here and there's a t-rex that also says try it on the t-rex uh pizza pretzels. i hear t-rex meat is delicious <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right and uh it looks like ramen and then eggs so hold on to your butts hold on to your butts hold on to your butts Gives food attitude. Hank sauce is an alternative to boring pepper sauce. This savory, fresh blend has a perfect bite that can be used on a wide variety of foods. It may not burn a hole in your tongue, but don't be surprised when you burn through the bottle, which that's a lot to burn through, that's, so that's awesome. That's a lot of sauce, for sure. It is. So ingredients are Hank base, which aged peppers, which are aged peppers, distilled vinegar, salt, and xanthan gum. Wine, garlic, salted butter, sweet cream and salt, basil, and it says it contains milk. Okay. So, that's very interesting. Shake well, it says. Shake it well. Shake it. I prefer the twist method. Yes. It uh, gets top and bottom. Mm -hmm. Um, anyways. We don't need the, like, like, the shake weight scenario here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's give it a smell. See what we got. Okay. I shall take the cap. Thank you. Alrighty. Oh my god. Wow, that smells herbalicious. It smells so garlicky. Did you too. just touch your nose with it? Did I? I think you might have. No, <laughs> you're good. Okay. That smells amazing. That smells like it's gonna go on pizza. All day Literally, long. Literally, my I, mouth watered. I know, minus two. My mouth just watered. Like, like, I need it now. All right, get your pour. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> Every time. No, I, you saw me do the it's consistency. Fine. <laughs> Don't move. I meant to do that. <laughs> Don't move. Like, you can't do this. Brandon, I, I, I meant I, to do that. They call me dark. Dark. Right, there we go. Listen, I meant to do that. Okay. This is why I do the pour. <laughs> also, I can't see, so just be happy I got on the spoon. All right. Okay. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Whoa. 
That's tangy. Oh. That is so good. Wow. That has completely blown my socks off. Normally, I don't like the super vinegary base hot sauce. What is that? But you guys, this is some kind of magic in what a bottle. What sorcery is this? Mm. What is that? Um, oh, that's the wine. Oh my god. That's the wine that's just barely in there that gives it this extra tanginess to it. I love it. That is amazing. I am like that really. That is so good. Whoa, I'm going back for thirds. It's unique. So it's like, um... There's like a creamy element to it, too. That's got to be the butter. Yeah, it's like, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. It's kind of like your classic pepper sauce, but packed with herbs. Very herby. Very, uh, very fresh tasting. That? Wow, you will that literally... is great. So let me tell you what this is. It's hot sauce. So, this... You're going to take all that other stuff. You're going to take take out the Texas Pete. You're going to oh, take out the Franks. You're no, going to take I all that stuff. I love those classic sauces. The minute you try this, this will replace all of them. It really will. It is so good. And mind you, I am I like, you know, Red Devil and, and Franks and stuff like that in Texas Pete. But this completely, it the flavor of it with that same quality wow. of those types of table sauces. I don't know why you keep the lid on it. I know. I'm sorry. Shame on you. There is enough there. I, I don't think I'll have to fight you for this bottle, but the butter pizza. element. Pizza. What are you going to put that on? Everything. Eggs, breakfast burritos, pizza, spaghetti. Potatoes. Potatoes. Ugh. Like, it's so good. It's so, so, so good. I'd put that in like a quesadilla, too. That wine doesn't taste like wine. It tastes like like an extra herb. Yeah. Or like, like it's meant to be. Like, like it. Like an unidentified herb. Saying. Like, what is that? The, the consistency of it, too. Because I hate wine. I don't like this. I know. And the smell of it. Well, think about it. The smell of it is, especially like the red wines, it's like very vinegary, kind well, of. Yeah. But this combination right here is solid, solid gold. Uh, I love this sauce. I can tell you this sauce is not going to last. In That's awesome. The kids would like this sauce. Let's talk about heat. Okay. You ready with a number? Yes. All right. You sure? Don't you positive? That. Well, should I try more? No. Okay. I think we're good. Just wanted some more. <laughs> and three, two, one, two. one. No. We are like off today. I was going to say one. Today. I was going to say one, but then I thought to myself, ah, no, it's a one, man. It's a one, but then, but then I keep thinking to myself, the, the people that like the Texas Pete's and stuff like that, this might be slightly spicier for them. Yeah, but that's a one. Yeah. That's a one. Yeah. But one has Just no heat. Just a little heat. tingle. One has, yeah, yeah, No, yeah. zero has no heat. You're right. We, we discussed this with Brian. Oh, man, you're right. Zero has no heat. This has, this has some heat. Let me just back it up a little bit. It's a one. It's I'll one. say it's that's fair. That's fair. But I do think that it's it a fantastic totally is fantastic one. It's fa it's family friendly. Like if you're used to eating those those table sauces in your house, the vinegar based ones, this you guys gotta have. It it's is absolutely phenomenal. delicious. Man, I want like I could drink that bottle. Like I could just drink it. Yeah. Seriously. But we're not gonna. You sure? Positive. I can't. No. All right, guys, thank you very much for hanging out with us. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, click down there, hit that subscribe, become part of the family. Please. We love you guys, and we wouldn't be doing this without you. Absolutely. You stop watching, and we stop doing videos. So thank you very much. Hope everybody has a fantastic day. Go get some Hank sauce. You guys need it. Have a good one. The reason I don't like uh, wine is i remember <laughs> you're what you did you stole that box wine yeah I, uh was it franzia or franzia frost fresca or whatever yeah, the it is purple one the big box wine red wine i like thought it was cool and i like grabbed the bottle and ran to the hills with it with my buddy mm -hmm. and we we literally like chugged the whole box and franzia. i was puking purple vomit for just like hours That's i was so sick
Yeah, it was like right That'll in the street, do. and I saw it for like two days. <laughs> <laughs> like what you did in Brad Ames? Yeah. Shh. <laughs> that was white vomit, and it was right in the First front of, of all, this, it was this whole warehouse. It was orange. Yeah, it was and orange And it was vomit. disgusting. Yeah. We bonded over vomit. It was great. Sorry, Brian. There you go. Oh, you know, your 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 tilt, your 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 pitch and yaw are off on the spoon. <laughs> Look at this. Ew! I was not gonna do that. We don't know when this. What is here? I don't know exactly what's well, there.